Today, Donald Trump's criminal defense lawyers in Georgia filed a notice with Fulton County Judge Scott McAfee informing the court that Donald Trump, quote, may seek removal of his prosecution to federal court. Back with us, former federal prosecutors Andrew Weissman and Mary McCord. Uh, Andrew Weissman, what's I don't understand a filing that says I might do something. Why doesn't it just say we're remo we're making a motion to remove to federal court? Well, it certainly is very odd. Yeah. Um, that was my first reaction. <laughs> right. Is a judge would be like, you know what? Why don't you let me know when you've made the decision? Um, I don't really need to know what you're contemplating. Um, but I think this is the reason. Um, uh, Donald Trump has 30 days in which to make a motion to remove. And since his whole game plan is delay, uh, he is going to he is going to file that no matter what he's now saying about he may or may not. He, but he's going to wait until the very last day um, so that he just pushes things out. So every single day, this is a, a race against the clock. So he's going to push that out to the very last day. But then you might say, well, why file anything now? And the only thing I can really think of is just to remind the court that just because he hasn't filed something so far, don't think that he's not going to, that it, just in case the federal judge is thinking, well, maybe he's not going to remove, which, you know, I don't think that's what this federal judge is thinking. This just r reminds the court that that is something that is coming down the pike. Um, I uh, I know um, Mary has said, and I agree, that there's no way in God's green earth that this federal judge isn't thinking about that as he's deciding the Mark Meadows removal, and I completely agree with her. Uh, Mary McCord, how does it... Uh... Uh, how does this work for a federal judge who's considering one uh, motion for removal right now for one of the 19 defendants, knowing that there could be more, there's probably certainly going to be one from a former president of the United States, uh, but there could be more coming. Uh, how does that affect the decision about the one that's before him? Well, you know, he's going to want to come up with whatever standard he's using, and that should be the legal, legal standard that the Supreme Court has set forth. But he's going to want to, you know, think through how he is applying that to multiple different defendants who seek to remove. Because, it, as you know, already Jeffrey Clark, the former Department of Justice official, he has also sought removal, and so have three of the uh, fraudulent pres presidential electors in Georgia on an interesting theory that because they were presidential <laughs> electors, they were federal officers. And we can talk about, you know, what a novel theory that is. So he's already the judge is thinking, OK, I mean, I've got Meadows's matter. I'm going to be hearing from these others. I'm going to be making decisions with respect to these different categories of people. And Trump may also be in that mix. So I think he's, you know, as he's writing his opinion with respect to Meadows, he's probably thinking about these other, uh, you know, the other people, the other defendants have also, uh, who have sought removal. I think Judge McAfee, the state court judge, I think what he's thinking about, we got a little bit of a signal about this yesterday, is that if, if there's, you know, if removal is denied and appeal is taken from that removal, even though I, as the state court judge, under the federal rules and under the federal statute, can go ahead and proceed with our state court proceedings, go ahead and even and have trial, what happens if we start a trial with one of these defendants who has an appeal pending from a denial of removal? Will that trigger double, double jeopardy if he wins that appeal and ends up you know, in federal court, and we've already started a trial here in state court? So I think one thing maybe Trump is trying to do is signal you know, hold on, watch out, because, uh, you know, I may be seeking removal and that could, you know, mess things up for the various courts. So all the more reason, uh, Judge McAfee, that you should sever my case from the co-defendants because he's already sought, sought that, of course. Bottom line, too, honestly, I think Mr. Trump wants to always have the attention, have the attention of the media, have the attention of you know, his supporters have the attention of prosecutors. And so the more he can have his attorneys file something, the more he's in the news, the more cha-ching, cha-ching go the coffers for him raising money for his, uh, you know, his campaign. And, you know, he's using these uh, prosecutions to his benefit. Andrew Reisman, um, did we learn anything in the hearing on Mark Meadows' removal that indicates 
what the judge might be thinking on the question of if you remove one uh, member of a RICO conspiracy, then you must remove them all to federal court? Uh, no. On that issue of if, if you take one, do they all go? Um, you know, the, there's we don't know what the judge is going to do with that. Um, there is some conflicting law, but it seems to me a little unlikely that if you were to remove Mark Meadows, that all 18 people are going to go along with you, even the people who are not in any way and have never been federal officers, um, to just sort of scoop them all up. Now, it, you could imagine him saying, well, I mean, all the people who are federal officers, people who've ser served in the federal government, they may need to go. Or he could just say, you know what, if you've actually filed a motion for removal, I'll just decide you, in, you know, case by case. So we don't, we don't know how that's going to work. If I had to guess, I think that it would either be on a sort of case-by-case -case basis, if you've asked for removal, then I will remove it, or maybe just all the federal people. But even that, I think, would be a little unusual, that he'd wait to see if the defense is actually asking to be in a different forum. If they want to be in state court, let them stay there.